everybody. I hope you're having a good day today and I uh, hope you're managing very well what's going on. I know some of you are looking forward to some cooler weather coming up towards the end of this week or <clears throat> or the end of this month for sure. But uh, still, we just have to deal with whatever we have. Uh, the title of the lesson is The Wrong Way. And we all know how dangerous it is to travel the wrong way down a one-way street or highway. And so, and really it's kind of common sense, but every now and then some person gets out there and they're driving the wrong way down the freeway. And it's very ex dangerous, it's very extremely dangerous. And yes, many people have lost their lives because they couldn't avoid it. And so, um, uh, just recently we heard about a policeman who put his car in the path of a wrong way driver. Now he's fighting for his life in the hospital. So, uh, but more importantly, not only in, on the roads of our nation, but in our spiritual journey, there are millions on the wrong way. They're on the wrong path. They're going the wrong direction. And the sad thing is, it does not bother them. See, a, a few people might realize they're going the wrong way, and yet they figure that things will work out if they just stay the course that they're on. And so, that they've chosen this course to follow, and that's what they're going to do. And so, all I can say is this is not going to work. See, if you're going the wrong way, the safest action is to get off that way and get to the right way. Another way we could look at this. <clears throat> Let's say uh, uh, you look at the direction that we're supposed to go. See, from Texas, if you want to go to Florida, you should travel east. And so, if you are on a westbound road going west and you keep on that course, you're not going to get to Florida anytime soon, that, that's for sure. And so hopefully you will discover your error and correct it by getting on the road that leads the right direction. <clears throat> and once again, we have millions heading the wrong direction and they really do not care about it. See, Jesus talked about the right way, the wrong way, when he talked in Matthew 7 verses 13 and 14. He spoke of the narrow way and the narrow path which leads to heaven and the broad way which leads to discretion, destruction. See, a blunt but honest statement would be that most people are on the pathway to hell. And basically that's what Jesus said. Jesus said many will be on that pathway and there will be few that find the pathway of righteousness that will lead to heaven. And that is really sad because many do not care about going to hell. Now some do not want to go there, but they refuse to get off the path that leads there. So how do we deal with that? All right, the basic meaning of the word repentance, when you look at it, is one of turning around and going the opposite direction. That's really what it means. And so this is easy to see, but most people just ignore it. See, these people want to go to heaven, but they figure they can get there by doing what they've always done. And of course, they're already on the wrong pathway, so not changing is not going to help them a bit. And then, of course, living a life that does not change will not get one into heaven. And that has to be obvious. They may think themselves into heaven. They may convince themselves in their mind, well, I'm going to heaven. And I just continuing by what they're doing and they may hope to go there yet they continue living the same lifestyle the same way doing the same things following the same course that got them into trouble in the first place and so uh we, we know a lot of people claim to know jesus but their actions tell a different story I mean, we know Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And these people don't follow the commandments of Jesus, but yet they, they're all out there. Oh, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. But yet they're not doing his will. And that remind, reminds us of what's in Titus 1 and verse 16. It says, they profess to know him, but their deeds deny him. In other words, actions speak louder than words most of the time. So if you want to get on the right pathway that leads to heaven, 
you're going to have to get off the pathway that leads to hell. And the only way for that to happen is to change your life, to bring it into line with God's instructions. And for some reason, a lot of people don't like seeing that. It's not really that hard to do because God has given mankind everything he needs to get right with him. You know, 2 Peter 1, 3, everything pertaining to life and godliness is granted to us through his divine mercy in the pages of his book. And so God provides a way for people to not sin by giving the people a way out of sin. And that's the promise of God. He, he won't allow any temptation to be stronger than what we can handle. And then, of course, we know that God has provided his grace to all mankind. The grace of God hath appeared unto all men everywhere. And Titus 2, verse 11 and 12, and the only thing is, in order to receive that grace, we have to abide by his terms. And that's the problem. A lot of people don't want to abide by the terms that God has established. And so, therefore, they're going to find themselves on the pathway to hell, and they're going to stay on that pathway. So this grace that God offers instructs us to live righteous lives. And so people don't want to live righteous lives. They're going to do their own wicked ways and still expect that they can go to heaven. So we, we see that one cannot begin a journey down the narrow path that leads to heaven if they choose to remain on their pathway of destruction. See, one of the problems facing everyone is the fact that many preachers these days tell people they can continue in sin, yet still be blessed to be able to go to heaven. Well, that's nothing more than a lie. And where do lies come? They come from the father of lies. That's the deception of wickedness we read about in 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 through 12. Yeah, it's the deception of wickedness. And who is the source of wickedness? Who is the source of deception? Jesus called Satan the father of lies. So here's the deal. Satan gets you to think that, well, I get to go to heaven, and yet you're still on the wrong pathway. I mean, that's fine with Satan. Satan's job is to keep you out of heaven. <clears throat> Doesn't matter who you are. If you're a sinner and you want to change your ways, he's going to give you some wrong guidance so that you'll think that you're, you're back on the right path, but yet you're still on the wrong path. And that's what Satan wants. He wants to keep you out of heaven. If you do change your ways, then he's going to attack you with uh, all sorts of temptations to try and get you to turn your back away from God and come back and start serving him. So these preachers do this. They, they'll tell people lies. And here people are doing things which no Christian should be doing, but yet they're convinced in their mind that they're going to heaven. They, 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 listen, they listen to the lies. And they believe in the once saved, always saved type of theology. That Oh, I, I, I said the name of Jesus one time many years ago, and I'm going to heaven, and it doesn't matter how I live. I mean, that's a false doctrine cannot be supported by the scriptures. And so we have to remember <clears throat> when God calls something a sin, it is a sin. And when people continue to sin, then we're told in Hebrews 10, 25, there no longer remains a sacrifice for that sin. So, and of course, there, there's a lot of false teachers who want to say otherwise. Now, just because many people deny what the Bible says, will not make anything acceptable. Yeah, you can tell a lie as much as you want. It doesn't matter if millions of people believe the lie. If it's a lie, it's still a lie. And so the only thing acceptable to God is what God has told us in his word. And God tells us how to live. God tells us what path to be on. And God tells us how to get on that path and how to stay on that path. And yet people still want to ignore the right path. Well, really, for those, you really can't do anything about it. Because if they don't want it to be right in the sight of God, no amount of convincing is going to change them. And, yeah, all we can do is warn. Yeah, we can warn them while well, you're on the wrong pathway. And if you want to go to heaven, you better change your ways. And we can warn them that. But they'll probably come back with a snide remark or something towards you. So, 
if you're going to appeal to God to get on the right track, you must make the choice to follow his instructions. And see, this is what most people don't do. They want to do it their way. They want to do what, what they feel like. They, they want to continue in their selfish ways, living their selfish ways, and doing whatever they want to do. And following some God really does not fit in their mantra. So, these people make up their own rules and follow them. And, of course, the Bible teaches us that is nothing more than folly. And those who practice folly are not going to go to heaven. So we encourage people, change your life's path before it's everlastingly too late. There is only one right way, right path to be on. Jesus told us what that path was. His, his apostles and the Holy Spirit directed us through the pages of his word how to be on that right pathway. We follow God's instructions. We do God's instructions to the best of our ability. And then, yeah, we have the chance of reaching heaven. But if we don't follow God's instructions, there's no way we can get to heaven. So keep these thoughts in mind. I mean, we need to be on the right path because uh, if you're going the wrong way, it is dangerous. In this world, going the wrong way can be dangerous for someone's life, their property, <clears throat> their health. But in the spiritual realm, going the wrong direction is dangerous for the soul. So keep these thoughts in mind. Uh, consider them and share the message, if you will. Uh, share this message with others. And help others see the importance of getting on the right path and staying on the right path. Because uh, that's the only way anyone is going to get to go to heaven. So that's our lesson for today. Consider these thoughts and Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow with another lesson. All right. Bye-bye for now.